Hi guys, so this is Michelle and I am back here today to do a wee kind of a review slash tutorial. So the review is the Nubian 2 palette by Juvia's Place. That's what I have on my eyeballs right now. So guys, if you like this look, then stay tuned. I am going to show you how to do it. It's remarkably easy. It is so straightforward. It's also a bit of a review of the Nubian palette, which honestly I find is the colours are immense. They're so pigmented. I'll pop links down below as to where you can buy to the Juvia's Place website and also the UK stockist that I I used to purchase the palette which is actually my daughter's I bought it for my daughter and when she was out today <laughs> I went and used her palette anyway I have been threatening to do this and she came in and went oh mum what have you got in your eyes so sorry Yasmin I do love you so much <laughs> Anyway guys, if you like this then give me a wee follow, you can give me a wee thumbs up, give a follow down below, this is the look and I am going to get on with the video and show you guys how to do this. You can do it as we kind of get ready with me or you can just have a wee watch and see what I have done. So guys, take care, have a wonderful day and here comes the video. Bye! Hi guys, so let's get on with this wee tutorial. So I've already, obviously, as you can see, I have done my brows with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow and uh, the shade that I've used is actually Auburn. So there we go, that is that. Now what I'm going to do is use this Nubian 2 palette by Juvia's Place. Now, I had seen this online, thought it looked amazing and actually it's my daughter's and I've stolen it and I'm using it while she's out. So I will pop the link for this down below and I thought we will go for maybe a kind of Arabian type inspired, a Juvia's Place Nubian inspired look today. So I'm just going to crack on with that. Okay so the um, eyelid area is kind of good to go so what I'm going to do first is I am going to go into this Morocco shade here which is a kind of burnt orange shade and very beautiful and I am using my Morphe G13 brush. So this is quite pigmented. I'm just going to go kind of along and above the crease here and along the full way. So this is going to be, I would imagine I'm probably going to end up with quite a dramatic eye look for today. You guys will know because you'll have already seen what I've got. At the start, I've got no idea where I'm going with this at the moment. I've not actually used this yet. <laughs> anyway, it's beautiful. <sighs> right, what I'm going to do next is um, Jezebel. Same brush. I'm going to go along the outside here. And I'm going to actually just leave that kind of nearer the outer side. And then I am going to go in with another brush. I am going to get my crease brush from Nanshi and I am going to dip in with the Kenya shade down the bottom, which is a matte again, kind of warm brown. And just on the outer part of the eyelid and just into the crease there. So just a small amount. Now I haven't started even blending anything at the moment. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my Morphe E23 brush and I am going to just go along the outer. So what I did, I used my MAC Pro Longwear paint pot in the painterly shade to prep the lid. Once I had used that shade, what I did was I just went over with, you can just go over with a kind of, I always tend to use a kind of skin type shade, um, a kind of natural nude, just to give a basic kind of powdered over the cream just to kind of make it easier to blend these eyeshadows on top. Today I actually used my Amazonian clay palette from Tarte and went in with the base coat shade, which is called base coat. However, any kind of shadow would do. Okay, so this is very rough, just kind of blending at the moment. 
I do love the Morphe brushes, I have to say, for blending, they are phenomenal. Now, the main thing with this is just making sure that it is blended out. So it's going to be quite a heavy type of eye. I'm going to have my actual lid to quite shimmery. These shadows are immensely pigmented, it's actually nuts. Okay, now what I'm going to do, because it is going to be quite a heavy eye makeup look, the shade Zuri here, which is a champagne shade, shimmery. I'm actually going to pop a wee bit of that just under here. It's going to be super duper bright. This is what I'm going to have at the kind of inner corner of my eye as well. So I'm trying to work out how I want to actually do this. I think I'll go in with that just now actually. Fizuri. And now I'm just using a wee tiny small kind of precision type it's actually corrector brush quite compacted and I'm going to just apply that going on to the start of the lid here if you wanted to have a really defined kind of lid or go for the cut crease look at this point you would be reapplying some concealer or your MAC prolong your paint pot over the actual lid. I don't really want to go for that look today. Although it is a beautiful look. I think actually what I'm going to do today is pop a wee bit of blue, pop some colour underneath which is from this Nubian palette as well. Do you know what? I actually have a better idea. I am. I've just said I'm not going to do it but I am. I'm going to go back in with the Prolong Your Paint Pot. The Paint Early. And I am actually just going to cover this little area here. And I'm just going with my actual lid shape. I'm not wanting to go for a big cut crease too high up or anything. I don't want to go for anything like that. This is literally just... And about halfway along here just now. Now I'm going to grab this brush here, which is a Nancy shader. Back in with that goldy shade. And if you see how pigmented that now looks, it's quite immense. Yeah, I quite like that. Okay, that is actually a good plan. Now we'll do the same on this side. If I'm going to do a dramatic eye, I might as well do it properly, eh? If you're going to do something, do it right. Now, I'm still to do my face and do my skin because obviously, as you can see, it's a mess at the moment. If you want to go above your natural crease, obviously you can. I might try and see how this looks going above it on this side. I'm going to have to now do the other side. <laughs> this is... I'm saying I'm going to do one thing and I end up doing another. This is my usual when I do my makeup. Unless I actually have planned out a look in advance. I do just tend to go with how I feel and what happens as I do it. Okay, so now we'll need to even up this side here. Now 
so other than this MAC Pro Longwear paint pot at the moment, the eyes are all just purely... Everything I've done with these eyes has been from the Nubian 2 palette. Which is really, really beautiful, actually. I do really love it. And what we're going to do on the outside of this lid, I am going to show you. So first of all, that's lovely. My eyes... Lovely. Now, let me show you what I'm going to do. I think what I'm going to do initially is... What shade? What shade? First of all, with the Jezebel purple, I'm going to just dot on the outside. This is just your kind of matte. Out here. And I'm making a mess of my face. And I'm going to pop that under here. Same thing on this side. doesn't matter that I'm making a mess of my face because I haven't done any of my skin and my face makeup at the moment. That's absolutely fine. I'm gently running that over there. But it just kind of defines what you have done. The contrast with the dark and the light. This is not what I plan to do at all for today. And then the Morocco, which is your orange shade, I'm just going to pop another small amount. By small, I mean a large amount. And I'm going to get my E23 by Morphe. Blend, blend. And what I'm going to do is just blend between these shades here. Slightly. Yeah, this is definitely a dramatic look. Okay, now, what to do, what to do? I don't know whether to shimmer up the outside of that lid as well, actually, or not. I don't think I'm going to bother. What I might do is use this Layla shade here, which is like a kind of, do I want to? No, it's quite matte. This shade, yeah, up here is gorgeous. It's like a, bronzy type shade. Now I'm just going to use the tiniest, tiniest dip in, literally that. It's very much a bronzy shade. It's really beautiful, actually. Now what I'm going to do is grab a pencil brush, which I have here, and I think I will, I don't know whether to use a green or a blue. Green or blue, green or blue. Green or blue. These are the shades, I'm just swatching them on my hand. I was wanting to do the blue, I don't know if it's as bright as I expected. Let's try the blue, it's called Cleopatra on the pencil brush. And what I'm actually going to do with that is run it underneath the eye here. I kind of love it. I do. Okay. It's really pretty. And what I'm going to do is bring it down rather than straight along. And I'm going to tidy all this up in a wee minute anyway. So we've got the purple along the 
outer side anyway, the darker, deeper shade that you have. So this is a shimmery shade as well. Now I don't have both, I don't have any eyelashes, I don't have any hair. So what I am going to do is probably apply some bottom lashes because I think if you're going for quite a dramatic eyeshadow type look, it is important. Make sure your full eyes are done. So I'm going to be going for liner and lashes, including bottom ones. Now I will tidy this up. That's not how that's going to be left, but just to kind of give a bit of a guide. And the, oh, is it Layla? Layla shade here. That, just dip into that with a pencil brush. It's literally just going to the very outer aspect here. And like a wee V, I suppose. So that we have some linking between the upper and the lower type lid. Right, I'm getting out and puff. I'm going to pause this and be back in a second. Once I've taken my inhaler. Okay, back. So now what I'm going to do, I've also just tried to tidy up a wee bit underneath. I've got to do eyeliner still and lashes. So I'm going to grab my Real Techniques brush first of all. I have my Maybelline Lasting Drama Gel Liner 24 Hours in black. I'm going to pop this just into my waterline with this lovely little Real Techniques brush first of all. Um, and I'm undecided regarding liquid or gel liner today. So this is just purely on my waterline at the moment. Upper and lower. And I'm just continuing that line out actually, it seems. Now, I tend to, if I'm kind of emphasising the inner corner or anything like that, I tend to usually do that with a gel. Because it's easy to do as kind of from transitioning from waterline to outside to, to kind of give that look. So, let's try. And what I always think with liner, always keep it really, really thin. It's easy to build it up if you make it too thick then it's not so easy to correct. I mean, you can correct it, it's a lot of hassle. So just start thin and build up. So with a gel liner, turns out I'm doing gel liner today. With a gel liner, always make sure you've got a brush you like. I tend to usually use an angled detailer brush. I normally would actually use one of my Morphe G21. I also use this for eyebrows, but I would use one of these as well, normally for a gel liner. But today, I'm actually using my Real Techniques really kind of fine brush. It's quite dense and it holds so I want to make sure this is a lovely perfectly straight line I always say this kind of thing if you're going for the gel rather than going for a liquid make sure you um, always have enough gel and you're not dragging and it's not getting messy so I because I'm older I have to kind of pull my eyelids taut just small strokes at a time doesn't matter if this takes a while to do better to take your time and do it beautifully 
And as we said, always start off thin. It's so easy to build it up anyway. As you go. So I'm going to go over to this eye. Okay, and same again. So, obviously for most people, if you have like eyelashes, like most people do, then they, you're not going to have a problem going between waterline and um, upper lid line are going to be totally separate and you go along the lash line. If you're like me, if you have alopecia and um, you don't have any eyelashes, then you kind of, it's easy to go from one to the other when you're not meaning to. So that's why I'm saying, just kind of be slow, take your time um, with it as well. Okay, okay. So... It's also why a product that you can use in the lash line or on the lid is actually so beneficial because you can kind of go between the two or, you know, like, I'll tell you in a minute. You don't want to have something that's going to irritate your eyes, basically. My eyes are sensitive as is. So, this stuff is really good if you get sensitive eyes, it doesn't bother me at all. For gel liner, I would say this Maybelline one at the moment is my favourite. I was using the Alamasca for a long time. I do still like it, I do love it still. However, this is much cheaper. And I feel it's just as good. It's lovely and bold and dramatic and waterproof. And also, I get ridiculously sensitive eyes and if, as you can obviously see, I'm doing that against my eyeball. <laughs> it's not bothering me. So what I've done is I've made this one a wee bit thicker. I'm going to build this one up the same. If you've got younger eyes, it's much easier because you don't tend to have that crepey skin that we old people like me have. So anyway, I actually, I go through phases of using gel all the time and then go into liquid. My favourite liquid liner has got to be the Kat Von D tattoo liner and the black shade's called Trooper and it's gorgeous. Hi guys, okay, so what I'm going to do now is just apply my lashes. So I am going to go for the Prima Lash SX, which I have worn a couple of times. So I'll finish off these eyes and then I can sort my skin and get this look together. So as always, I will be using my Revlon Precision Lash Glue Clear. So what I do, because I don't have any lashes, rather than apply to the falsies, I just apply this like a crazy woman oh gosh in my eyeball try not to get it in your eyeball however I just pop that straight along my lash line here I don't have lashes if you've got lashes you can still apply this method however bear in mind if you glue your own lashes it can be sore when you then go to remove your falsies so guys let me just let this dry and come back Okay, so I'm just going to stick the lashes on now that this is starting to go a wee bit kind of tacky and drying in. What you can do, if you do go for this method, if you pop it on there, you can also pop some onto the lash and then it makes them a wee bit kind of like Velcro. They just like adhere really easily. Anyway. Ah. 
I have not trimmed these lashes because I have big eyes. So. Obviously, if you don't, but if you have got your own natural eyelashes, obviously this would be the time where you would either mascara first, then pop this on, or pop this on, then mascara, generally to blend the falsies in with your natural lashes. So whether you mascara first, or you at like first and then after you've applied the falsies, doesn't matter. Obviously, count that wee step in for yourself as well. And I can't show you as much as I would love to. Because I have nothing to mascara. Just an eyeball. Right. So, eyes-wise. I'm happy with the eyes for just now. If you wanted to absolutely glam it up um, and go for total, full-on glam i suppose you could you could add some glitter onto that kind of lighter gold part however i'm not doing that just now so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go i'm going to do my face and then i'll come back to you again okay and show you the 100 percent finished look i may even put on hair i'll get my jammies off and pop on some real person clothes this is how bad my skin is just now it's awful right i'll see you in a moment hi guys so i have decided for today to finish off this look by putting on my Trend Co Human Hair Diamond Wig, actually decided that was best. Pop on some fancy headwear and I just figured that goes with my eyes. I'm not really sure that the whole t-shirt thing goes. However guys, this is the final look for today. I hope that this tutorial slash review of the Nubian 2 palette by Juvia's Place was good for you guys. So any comments, leave them just down below. Give me a wee like, give me a wee follow. Thanks guys. Bye.